Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on renaming of the databases and how many ways to do it. So there are four ways to rename your database. Four ways to rename the database. The first one is renaming by using the SSMS. I have one database called movie. I want to change this movie database to Hollywood movie. The first method to change the database, uh, to change the name of the database, right click on the database and select the rename and change the name as your requirement. So, I am changing the database name as movie to Hollywood movie. So, this is the first one. The first method is by using the SMS. Right click on database name. Select rename option and type your new database name. So this is the first method. And second one is here by using <coughs> the query method. That is, uh, I am again back to this database name as a movie for the time being. Yeah. Second method, uh, this is by, uh, by alter, alter method. By renaming, I want to change again the movie to Hollywood movie. I am using the command alter, alter database, <laughs> alter database. What is the name of the database? I, I want to change it. The movie. I'm searching movie and modify modify name name is equal to Hollywood movie. Hollywood movie. So if we execute this one, the movie is automatically replaced with Hollywood movie. So I am executing this alter command. See here, the database name Hollywood movie has been set. If you go and uh, refresh your database, you will get movie database in the name of Hollywood movie. So this is the second method by using the alter alter command database old name to modify name is equal to new name. This is the second one. So I am again back to this old name. And executing query and refreshing the database, and you will get a movie again. So, this is the second method. I am using the third one. Well, what is the third one here? Third one is by, use, by executing the store procedure. So, exec, there is one store procedure called sp underscore sp underscore rename db rename db is one store procedure so by executing this store procedure just you, you know to pass your the database name and uh, see here it, it is asking to input parameter as a db name sys name that is um, old database name that is movie i, I am giving since movie and Second one, it is asking to new movie, new database name. That is 
am giving hollywood hollywood movie and it returns and if you execute this query again the hollywood movie has been set so here database movie database i am refreshing the databases again so you can get hollywood movie again so this is the third method so by using i am i am again reverting this by by executing the rename underscore db sp underscore uh, rename db third one sp underscore the and db this is old old name and want to change the new name this is the third method and fourth one is it is somewhat critical but it is the uh, safest method and a, a, a suggestible method what is this method is by using the de detach and attach <coughs> rename the database by using attach and sorry, detach and attach detach and attach so i will show how to do so first you click your database name right click and tasks and go to detach this window is as open now if you click the oh, okay the movie and uh, database are automatically detached from this database list so i am clicking okay so you can see here there is no movie database here now how can we retrieve and attach go to databases right click and attach if you click the attach you need to go to add button click add button so one window is open so here here you you observe movie mdf it will save in the default location movie dot mdf so i am clicking this so the original file name with located with data and log file that is ldf and mdf so here you observe databases to attach i need to attach this database once again back to in database list in object explorer so if you want to attach this one if you want to change this attachment name as your new name that is hollywood movie this is my i want to attach the whole database with this new name so if you click this one click okay see here the data the, the uh, hollywood movie database has linked to this database uh, object explorer but the, this is the old one actually but uh, i want to uh, replace uh, the old database with new database by using the attach and detach method so this is the safest method why because uh, when there are number of uh, number of tables and the number of objects sql objects are there in your database so this is the safe to by by first by detach and by afterwards by changing your name and attach so that it, it won't get much effect so then these are the four types of uh, of renaming your databases this is very important sql inter question so they they are asking how to rename your database and how many ways to do to rename to rename in your your existing database to new one clearly there are four ways method first by right clicking on database and select the rename option and second by using the alter command alter database world name modify name is equal to new name and by executing the sp_rename db 
you just pass your input parameters two input parameters so the first one is old database name with a single code and second one is new name finally rename the database by using detaching it always to do that thanks for watching the video thank you very much